Young Carers Action Day is an annual event to raise awareness and call for action to increase support for young people with caring responsibilities and celebrate the incredible contribution they make to their families and local communities. So who is a young adult carer? Young adult carers are young people aged 16 to 25 who care for a family member or friend with an illness or disability, mental health condition or an addiction. Often they also help by looking after other members of the family such as brothers and sisters. Young adult carers don't get paid for the care and support they provide and they often do more chores than other young people would. On top of providing emotional support to the person they are caring for, they may also have to learn how to nurse them or look after their personal needs. Examples of things young adult carers do include practical tasks such as cooking, housework and shopping. They may provide physical care such as helping someone out of bed, provide personal care such as helping someone dress or go to the toilet, provide emotional support such as talking or listening to someone who is distressed, manage the family budget and collecting prescriptions, help to give someone their medication, help someone communicate or look after brothers and sisters. Being a young adult carer can have a big impact on the things that are important to growing up. It can affect a young person's health, social life and self-confidence and many struggle to manage their education, work life and caring role which can cause pressure and stress. Meet James, Georgia, Grant and Becca a group of young adult carers involved in creating a series of animations to share their real life caring experiences. I'm James, I'm 21 and I love going out with my friends. I really do enjoy going to the cinema. It's good to get out of the house sometimes. Life at home can be difficult. Mum can really fly off the handle sometimes. She was so mad at me the other day because I refused to buy her alcohol. She's loud, hysterical. It's like she's possessed. I've nowhere else to go. She's getting worse and it's frightening. Problems are so easy to fix in movies. I wish I could easily diffuse angry situations and turn the clock back. I want to be social and bubbly, but it can be hard to focus on having fun with so much on your mind. I feel drained. I worry about mom constantly. Where is she? Has she taken her meds? Has she taken too many and hurt herself? Every time I see an ambulance go past near home, I think it's for her. I worry I'll go back and find her dead. I need to keep her safe. Finding Newcastle carers helped me by taking off some of the pressure, giving me more chances to go out and do things with my friends. I'm Georgia, I'm 19 and I love hearing stories from my nan. My favourite tale was when she tells me about being on the farm during the war and running back home through the fields. Nan has dementia and she always forgets the part in the story about her friend, little Jimmy. I try and jog her memory as best as I can by filling in some of the gaps. She remembers being a secretary when I come to pick her up from the day centre in my uniform. It can be a massive rush getting back in time to collect her, especially when sometimes she forgets where she is and gets upset. I've got to be really organised. As well as my admin job, I run an Etsy shop which I started because I was spending so much time at home in the evenings. I prefer doing things, which means I can keep an eye on Nan, so I often turn down meeting up with friends. I'm really worried about my future. I'd like to progress further at work, travel, start a family, but I don't feel I can do any of that with the way my life is now. I've been talking to Newcastle carers about getting some help. I love Nan, and it makes me feel guilty about saying this, but I need to think about myself too. I'm Grant, I'm 24 and I love baking. It can be a bit hard to fit it in though when there are a million other things to do before you leave the house. I care for my partner Alex. My dream is to be a games teacher. I study sports science at uni. It's a lot of work and sometimes it's hard to concentrate when you've got so many things on your mind. Alex often stays in the house all day. He has anxiety and depression so I try to keep him entertained while I'm out. I talk to Fudge when we go out for a walk. She's a great listener. I was really worried about telling my mates at uni I care for Alex. There was one time, I was absolutely exhausted in class after being up all night. My friend asked us what was up. Alex is often awake at night anyway, and well, he had tried to do something nice and bake me something for a change, but he burnt the cake. 
He was so upset and apologised over and over and over, saying he was useless. I ended up spending the rest of the night reassuring him. I found it hard to be honest about what Alex is like. It turns out my friend cares for his brother too. It's such a relief to talk to someone. And he told us about the support I could get from Newcastle carers. I'm Becca. I'm 17 and I love online shopping. I'm not really sure what I want to do with my life. I didn't do that great at school, so I'm trying to do a part-time math course at college, but I can't always focus when I'm in class. Dad says that I should be doing money management instead. He jokes about it, but I do get worried about how much I spend sometimes. Admittedly, that new kitchen bin wasn't necessary, but I try to buy useful stuff for the house. I cook and keep the place tidy to help dad because he can't get around easily. Sometimes everything gets overwhelming though. I haven't been doing well in lessons. The teachers probably think I just don't care about my grades. I had a horrible day the day before one of my exams. I was trying my best to revise and there was a crash from downstairs. I ran down and dad was on the floor. I couldn't lift him, my head was spinning and I panicked. I couldn't find the right words to describe what was happening. It was awful. The paramedics saw what I was dealing with alone and recommended I get some support from Newcastle carers. They have helped me with loads of my worries and they have even been showing me how to budget. Although being a young adult carer can be tough with extra chores, worries and responsibilities, caring can also have a positive side with young carers developing especially deep bonds with the person they care for and great pride in the support they give. The caring role can also lead to them developing new skills and a maturity that can help them as they move on to further education and the workplace. Some examples of the transferable skills include good communication skills, ability to work independently, time management and punctuality, risk management and awareness, and also budgeting. It's important to support young carers and raise awareness of the invaluable contribution they provide to their families and local communities, as well as highlighting the incredible skills they have developed through being a carer. Young Carers Action Day is an annual event organised by the Carers Trust and this year it's on March the 16th. The theme is to protect young carers' futures and it aims to raise awareness and call for action to increase support for young people with caring responsibilities. On Young Carers Action Day 2021, we are calling on all governments across the UK to commit to protecting young carers' futures so that young and young adult carers are supported to achieve their aspirations. If you're a young carer, it's easy to put your own needs to the back of the queue. However, it's important that you reach out for support and help when you need it. There are lots of organisations who can support you when you feel you need a break or someone to talk to and who can also introduce you to other young carers at social events. Young Carers Trust is a national organisation that supports young carers and they have a directory of local support services on their website. Carers UK is also a national organisation that provides expert advice, information and support. Newcastle Carers is a local organisation that provides a range of practical services and support to those looking after someone. Newcastle College Central Support Services is committed to supporting our students with a caring role and we provide a range of support to young carers. You can get in touch with us by contacting Central Support Services on css at ncl-coll.ac.uk We have also teamed up with Newcastle Carers to start a monthly virtual students carers group. The virtual group aims to provide a safe and welcoming space to meet other students who care for others and to benefit from shared experiences. The first virtual students carers group will be held on Thursday the 24th of March between 12.15 and 1.15pm. If you're interested in joining the group, please email pastoralsupport at ncl-coll.ac.uk 
to register your interest in attending.